Ladies and gentlemen, Sukhi Baat. Mulaqat. Enjoy. Mulaqat with Sukhi Baat. ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਆਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਵਿਦ ਸੁਖੀ ਬਾਤ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਔਰ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਟੀਮ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਔਰ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਲੱਖ ਲੱਖ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਜਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੈਠੇ ਹੋ ਇਸ ਵੱਲ ਦੇ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਿਲੈਕਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੋ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਰਾਈਟ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਕੁਝ ਨਵੇਂ ਗੈਸਟ ਕੁਝ ਨਿਊ ਕਿਡਸ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਬਲੌਕ ਐਂਡ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਓਲਡ ਕਿਡਸ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਬਲੌਕ ਓਲਡ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਲਡ ਬਟ ਨਿਊ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ uh my my guest I've been waiting to meet this guy for a very long time and I'm a good fan of his music as well before I introduce you to him let's check him out in action here he is sach jaani andro tut janda jado aake dukhde dasdi si ki paya te ki khoya main ho gayi ek kalol si assi kar de reh pyar that's the one and only the great um okay it's mani sandi kidda sasri gal ji how you doing bro you right kidda is that your style because that's the first thing you said to me is like anyway. <laughs> yeah yeah oh. yeah it is a little bit man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm kind of going to have one of those into is kidda yeah just relax man let's just let's just sure. sit back chill out aur fir kidda theek thak badhiya ki haal chal raha hai ਬਸ ਚਲੀ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਬੜਾ ਹੁੱਕਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਵੀ ਮਨੀ ਵੀ ਸੈਂਟ ਮੀ ਗੋ ਸੁਕੀ ਯੂ ਵੋਕ ਮੀ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਅਰਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਡਰਿਵਨ ਅ ਲੌਂਗ ਵੇ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਯਾ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਮ ਨਿਊ ਕੋਰਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਮ ਦਾ ਓਲੀ ਐਮ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਆ ਇਸ ਤਾਂ ਸਟਮ ਬੇਸਡ ਇਨ ਯੂ ਕੋਰਸ ਕਸਾਲ ਵਾਈ ਮਨ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਐਕਸ ਬਰੋ ਆਮ ਗਾਜ਼ਾ ਨਾ 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 ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਸਾਊਥ ਓ ਓ ਐਂਡ ਰੂਨ ਇਟ ਫਰ ਮੀ ਨਾ ਆਮ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਮਾਈ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਵਰ ਨਿਊ ਕਾਸਲ ਆਮ ਕੋ ਟ੍ਰਾ ਮਾਈ from in newcastle unfortunately actually. not man yeah i was born in new um south or yeah. we moved to newcastle when i was about 10 years old my mom and dad bought an off license oh so, right okay <laughs> yeah, yeah okay okay yeah. so been in the business for a long time then yeah 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 we don't own like they don't own shops anymore they kind of packed that in now but um it seems the, the trend seems to be like that now there's a lot of apne mm. obviously people of your mom and dad's age and yeah, stuff yeah, they they've yeah. got into businesses mm-hmm. but now they seem to be moving away from that is, is, is it the property business now then you know are I, you I, buying I, most of newcastle <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm uh, educated enough in that kind of department to say right. but um right. yeah yeah I've never really been into shops and I used to hate it. my dad used to wake me up at 6 o'clock in the morning oh, to right. do the paper round for our shop so it was literally I just used to get so angry I used to be like not even daylight it used to be dark outside when I used yeah. to go outside man yeah. so yeah I think parents sometimes probably accept that man because obviously from where they've come from yeah. you know their parents have done that haven't they like mm. I don't know if you didn't kit the you know you're expected to do that yeah, yeah, and yeah. and a lot of people out there probably could relate to that where they used to have a business mm. and they had, without any pay yeah. without anything yeah. they had to get up in the morning and they had to you know put your two mm. pences worth in that business yeah, yeah, and your yeah, parents yeah. you know thought well this is what you're supposed to do anyway yeah exactly uh, how did you get into the music line then how 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 was that uh to be honest music wasn't really something that was in my family uh-huh. um for me it was basically um 
my older brother, he used to remix songs um, okay. kind of back. This is when I must have been about 11 years old when he used to do that. And we all used to have one computer in the house okay. and I used to just watch him and I used to have half an hour on the computer every single day. In that half an hour... That's very disciplined. Yeah, 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 half an hour. In that half an hour, I just used to practice like, remixing songs. Back then it was like um, Punjabi music with um, hip-hop kind of beats. Mm -hmm. So I just used to like mess around with that garage uh, beats, drum and bass, jungle, that kind of stuff. Just try and mix it, and then my brother used to hear it, and he used to be like, "This is not good. Like, this is very <laughs> bad. Just stop." Like, Who's stop. your brother? Like, we're going to give him a mention. Yeah. So my, um, after uh, all, you know, this is your brother's. Who's, who's yeah, yeah. My, yeah. My, my brother Chaz, he's like, and he's still with me. Like, at, 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 he does everything behind the scenes. All oh, right. Okay. So yeah, he's yeah. still involved. In yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so he like, still comes around. You you take it to him, and he still says, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, definitely. Yeah, done. yeah, yeah. So that when I'm working on a song, I'm just waiting because literally I, I make all my music in my bedroom. Right. His bedroom's next door. So when I'm making a song, <laughs> this is my thing. I keep my door open. I play it. Stop it. If I get a good reaction, if he shouts from the from his room, yeah, it's good. I know. All right, let me carry on working on this. If he says nothing, I just have to put it in the recycling bin. To be honest, that's it. Yeah. The, the, um, that, that's brilliant. I mean, it, so so jazz is the jazz is your, but, but obviously it's still involved in the music line as well. But mm -hmm. obviously, you know, we had. Sonia Rangir, Bakshi Billa and stuff like that. Yeah, how, yeah, does, how, yeah. do you, how does somebody of your age sort of make that jump from, from a bedroom mm -hmm. into a studio? Um, well, Cause that's, that's a huge jump, isn't it? Right? Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> when I was young, I used to do... It used to be DJing for a couple of years. Okay, okay. But I got into uh, music production when I was about 13, 14 years old. And um, it used to be me and my mate, Gerps from Wolverhampton. And we used to talk on MSN and he used to send me his files. I'd send mine back to him. Right. And we used to like, just research stuff on Google, like chords and stuff and how to play keys and all that kind of stuff, how to get a song in key. So we just used to, he used to teach me, I used to teach him. We just used to send ideas over to each other. Yeah. So once I got that little kind of ounce of production, I just, I fell in love with it, man. Like, yeah. I just became such, so obsessed with music. And I just completely just kind of packed the DJ again. So, so what's, the, what's the first song you ever remixed or whatever? What 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 sort of influenced you to say you know what this is this is this this is it? Or what was it about that track? You know that that made you kind of like say you know yeah. this some you know you know what we say in Punjabi Luin Kari Ho Jandi or you know yeah yeah yeah. You know, it, what which track was that about? I, you know back then you know it was difficult because. I was a bedroom producer. I didn't have. I used to work in my I mum think and dad. Most of the people, most of the producers, will sit here and say, "We're yeah, bedroom yeah. producers," and I can actually, you know, PMC. I can, yeah, I can yeah, actually yeah. say I've been to his bedroom mm -hmm. as in music sense. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've seen him doing it from there as well. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, where exactly. he is now. So a lot of, lot of those people mm. of that time, yeah, yeah, were definitely. bedroom producers. Yeah, yeah. but at that time, it wasn't really. I wasn't. It wasn't really me hearing songs and thinking that's a good song. Yeah. I was just trying to get my hand on any vocal I could. I used to like. I used to add artists on MSN <laughs> and artists that are still around now, but I don't know, I can't say the name in it. Cause, oh, go on, just and, drop um, one name. Uh, you know what? Um, They're probably not watching it anyway, because, you know, artists can also use Zuki Dabro. Now, you know what? One of the artists was Gubi Sandu, and <laughs> 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 it's, it's quite funny because you were talking about it before, but yeah, I, I don't know how. I got Gubi Sandu's MSN email address and I added him. And, and I, did you say, did you look at him and say, I want to look like him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, some people say um, my style is influenced from him, innit? but nah, it's all good, man. Um, so I got his email address, added him, I used to message him every day, like, and this is when, like, he was at his kind of peak, yeah. like, he, he was, like, dropping tunes and he was doing really well and stuff. Um, so I just used to message him all the time and he, he just used to ignore me, innit? <laughs> it's, just, standard, it's just a naughty. blank me, but nah, it's all good, man. Me and Gopi yeah. are, quite, are quite cool now. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so... Um, so like you're a younger version of... I mean, he's probably, he still looks the same, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 he, he hasn't aged at all, man. Yeah. He, he's still a young man, but yeah, he's got some stuff coming out soon as well. Right. So, um, yeah, but... So back then, I was hustling, man. I used to proper try and go out my way to find these vocals. Yeah. Literally, they would be like 40 seconds clips of a vocal and I'd just do something on that, upload it on the internet, and I'd get like quite okay-ish kind of feedback off it. Yeah. That's what I kind of used to practice on back then. Right. And then it was just eventually I'd just done more and more would that be Would that be your sort of advice to sort of up-and-coming producers? That's the way to do it because obviously use social media to, to your advantage. Mm -hmm. And to be kind of, it almost seems like you, you have this obsession that this is what you want to do. Mm. So to give people that kind of advice, I mean, you know, because obviously you're doing so well with it. Yeah, I think um, I think nowadays it's changed yeah. a little, man, from right. back in the day. Because you're talking like days ago, you only seem look about about sixteen, seventeen. Nah, <laughs> you know what? I tweeted about this not long ago that 
It's so crazy how much music has advanced, right. even when I was young, from mm. how much times have changed from really? then to now. Like, it's crazy. I'm on about, even in the last five years, how much music has changed. As in what sense? Like, as in, there's this new thing that just came out, Apple um, Streaming. Okay. Um, Apple, Apple Music, I think it's called. Right. I think that's, that's going to be the f next thing now. I don't even think people are going to buy songs on iTunes anymore. I think okay. it's just going to be... Is this what Taylor Swift was on about and stuff about these people? I'm not, I'm not sure taking, about... Taking the music, taking the albums and they can yeah. listen to them, they can download them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is, is that the new, new thing? And it's like a month, you pay a monthly fee, so you're not paying for one song. Yeah. You're paying for the service that right. gives you the song. Right. So like, things like that have made it change. And do you think our music, uh, Bhangra music, can we, can, can we sit there in par with, with, with the Western music as well? Do you think that's where we're going to go? I mean, we're on it, iTunes and stuff like that anyway, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, I don't think we're ever going to be on that level in terms of sales, uh -huh. but um, obviously, you know, music's on. I think it's just leading towards music kind of not having the value it used to have okay. at one point. I think music is very, very accessible these right. days. People can get it off YouTube, you can get it off this Apple Music thing I was telling you about. Mm. It is so easy for someone to just go go on their phone and get access to a song. Whereas like back, and I keep on saying back in the day yeah, when yeah, I was no, talking about... Yeah, you're going for it. Yeah, yeah, make, yeah. Make, me look, make me feel young. <laughs> I, I like that, carry on. So back, yeah, 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 a couple of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so back in my day... Um, <laughs> you ruined it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I remember um, <laughs> when we were young, me and my brother and my sister, we used to be into hip-hop music quite a lot. Mm. Um, and we bought this Jay-Z album, it was called Hard Knock Life, uh, Volume 2. And we loved that album so much and I think we lost it and we were so gutted when we lost this CD. Like literally we were down for ages and we found the CD randomly. When we found the CD, we were jumping up and down, like hugging each other, like, yes, we found the CD. <laughs> and I think now, like if someone loses a song, they're like, oh, whatever, I'll just, you know, I'll just YouTube it later on. Yeah. So that value that right. music used to have, like someone excited that like, waiting for an artist's album, yeah, I'm going to go to the shop on this day, I'm going to buy that album because it's coming out on that day. That's just, it's gone, man. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I, mean? I, I agree with that. I mean, obviously, in my days, yeah. we waited for albums and, like, we mm. waited for Hira to release an album. And, you yeah, know, they'd yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they released an album once a year mm -hmm. or maybe they release, you know, every two years. But we waited for that. Like, Hira, Malgeet Baji's album, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Bring Me. You know, we waited for those albums yeah, and yeah, we actually yeah, went yeah. there to physically buy the album yeah, yeah, and then read, yeah. actually, you know, what the songs are exactly, and what the artists exactly. are saying. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, now I go there and I studio, and I think, it's my time now when they said, oh, thank you to British and Suki Barton. Now, <laughs> they bloody stopped doing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. But um, okay, so you've tracked Bakshi Billa. Uh, tell yeah. it, you know, obviously you've told us your journey. So how did you come to do that? And, and how do you select your songs? Obviously, you must have a big command of Punjabi that you can, you can listen to the lyrics. And, yeah, and so I think at that time, when we chose to do the Sone Rangir song, that was in 2009, right. came out in 2012, but it started, okay. I made the beat in 2009 when I was 18 years old, that's when the little sample beat I made. Right. At that point, um, a lot of people were releasing Punjabi dance floor songs, it was just a dance floor led industry, like everyone was just trying to make Punjabi music for, you know, kind of bookings and stuff. Yeah, weddings and stuff, yeah, what's yeah, happening yeah. now? Yeah, yeah to what's be honest, happening yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. I think... No, they've even started saying, yet another Gidda song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hold yeah. that thought. Uh, we'll be back after this break. I'm in conversation with Manny Sandu.